we were coming home from church one Sunday many, many years ago. Mike and Steve were older, and they'd gone with some other kids. And uh, Lisa was six, and she was with us, and she was standing right. This is before the seatbelt world. She was standing right behind our seat. And uh, I said, Lisa, what happened in Sunday school today? And she said, oh, good things, good things. I said, did you learn anything? She said, yeah. He said, uh, love your neighbor as yourself. And I said, well, what do you think that means? And she said, well, it means that I love you and Mother and Mike and Steve and Princess, our dog. Uh, But do you mean I have to love little Robert? Now, you need to know little Robert, folks. You need to meet little Robert. He was something else. I mean, when when he went outside, even the parents went in. He was something else right across the street. And Lisa and little Robert got into it all the time. She said, you mean, you mean, and I could see her in the rearview mirror. She didn't know I could see her face. She said, you mean to tell me I have to leave, love little Robert like I do you and Mother and Mike and Steve and Princess? And I said, well, Lisa, that's it. That's that's what Jesus said, isn't it? And I could see her looking at and she started shaking her head, kind of just shivering. She said, no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> There's no way to love little Robert. I tell you what, that's exactly what we have to deal with. You know, all of us have some little Roberts. And they seem to be very big Roberts sometimes. But you know what? God said, go ahead and love them. Whether you love them or not, give God some strength to give you to love your neighbor as you love yourself. There's no other, there's no other commandment. He's, Jesus said, nothing greater than that. That's tough. So we need the Lord to help us to love one another. All of us have some little Roberts. Lord, help us to love one another and help us be loved in a world in which we need peace and love.